Kyotaka. No matter what, you must always remember this. To have great power and refuse to use it to your advantage is something only a fool would do. The White Room was established 20 years ago, founded and headed by Kiyotaka's father, Professor Ayanakunjai. The White Room started from the first year of the first generation's life, with new generations being formed annually. Each generation is educated under different leaders and receives the corresponding education. Then, it is verified which group had the most effective education. Hundreds of children have been trained under the White Room's education system. Children of different generations wouldn't have been able to see each other. Although they were in the same facility, they did not know the appearance and names of anyone else but themselves. Most of the children raised in the White Room have their own problems, and so, they cannot be put to good use like contributing to society outside that facility. The main aim of the White Room is to have children be nurtured and raised with a complete education straight from birth. Furthermore, the White Room is a special kind of facility whose ultimate goal is to raise all people unto equivalent superiority. It is a place where they seek to prove that the limits of humanity are decided not by one's own genetics but by their environment in which one is raised in. In other words, they want all people to harbor and develop outstanding talent, not just those blessed with excellent genes like Ichika. In this case, the fifth and sixth generation of white rumors are among those who happen to survive until the very end of their education, when there are some like them with the potential of producing great results. Hichika Amasawa notes how the classrooms, the corridors, are assigned living chambers, everything was a world of pure whiteness. According to Kiyotaka, during a meeting between him and his father, he had said that the white room was perhaps the most efficient place in the whole world to raise a human. However, not everything could be taught there, as it was an institution that threw away anything unnecessary to the extremes. In Volume 11.5, Kiyotaka stated that the White Room has had 19 generations of students in total, with each generation forming annually. Kiyotaka is from the demonic fourth generation, which had the hardest and most cruel course of all generations. Kiyotaka has also confidently stated that, when it comes to the White Room, he is the best student to ever come out of it. In White Room, children who are at the age of 10 years old were taught systems theory based on Project 5. And by the age of 11, it was said that they also end up learning about the theory of relativity based on Project 7. Fourth generation focus on pure individualism. None of the previous generations and after could surpass the last survivor of fourth generation. Due to being trained under excessive individualism, children were often crushed one after another until the last one remained standing strong. Kiyotaka alone had a huge impact on the entire White Room. The goal of the White Room wasn't to create people who could become number one. Rather, it was to establish the research that could allow for mass production of exceptional people, equal to Kiyotaka himself. That was the real reason for the White Room's existence. The fifth generation focus on communication and collaborations. All children were required to maintain a minimum level of interpersonal communication before being allowed to talk to one another. Only those raised in the White Room with the same skills as this group of children could properly have a conversation with them, without problem. Ichika was also raised in the White Room as a member of the fifth generation. It was later revealed in her monologue that she was born using in vitro fertilization as test tube IVF babies from her parents, according to her, are said to be geniuses. Now, in the latest volume, 4.5, Ayana Koji's second year, it has been proved that Ayana Koji can actually play piano. I will just narrate that part. I sat back in my chair and opened the keyboard lid. What are you doing, don't tell me you can play the piano, said Chabashira sensei. Without answering any questions, I ran my fingertips over the keys and began to play a tune. When I finished playing, Chabashira applauded without seeming to. I'm no musical expert, but that's brilliant. Even with practice, I'll never be able to play at that level. As I recall, the song you just played. And then, in the silent concert hall, there was a sound slightly behind me. Chabashira hurriedly stood up and turned around. Now, I will see you guys in my next video, till then, just watch my previous videos.